आई एम डॉक्टर भसीन सुशील भसीन अ सीनियर कंसल्टेंट न्यूरो सर्जन विद महाराजा अग्रसेन हॉस्पिटल प्रैक्टिसिंग इन सिटी ऑफ डेली फॉर लास्ट 25 फाइव ईयर्स टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड हाउ कोलेस्ट्रॉल हेल्प्स अ बॉडी रिपेयर द टिश्यूज दो कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज अ वेरी एसेंशियल एलिमेंट ऑफ बॉडी टिश्यूज बट इफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल गेट्स एक्सेसिव इन अ बॉडी इट्स गॉट दिस हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स टू बेसिकली कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज अ वैक्सी सब्सटेंस लिपिड एसेंशियली अ स्टीरोड विच इज ग्रीजी एंड मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इन अर बॉडी टिश्यूज एसेंशियली इट इज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इन लिवर and cholesterol basically is required for the synthesis of vitamin d various hormones bile acids and it is required to replenish and repair many body tissues cholesterol is an organic uh, molecule if we have to kind of uh, say it be c26 h47 o cholesterol is non water soluble it in its pure state it is white crystalline odorless tasteless and insoluble in water and since <coughs> cholesterol traverses the plasma the blood cells the, the blood cells everything so it has to be bound in certain kind of with certain kind of substance which is lipoprotein which binds with it and helps it to circulate all over the body cholesterol is very essential for all animal membranes too because all the membranes are form of phospholipids and cholesterol is an integral part of that and since lipoproteins are very essential to make the cholesterol the fatty the fatty acids the fat cells circulate, circulate in a body so lipoproteins are also of many kinds they are low density lipoproteins which is supposed to be a bad cholesterol as people say in a colloquial term and there is a high density lipoprotein which people call it's a healthy cholesterol so lipoproteins uh, that ldls are basically required for the circulation of fat cells and you know it helps fat reach each and every cell the tissues of the human body if it gets excessive it starts adhering to the blood vessels when it adheres to the blood vessels a coagulum is formed and the blood vessels get they start getting thickened and the when when blood vessels get thickened there is kind of uh, the lumen gets stenosed and heart has to pump with pressure across those blood vessels and then the heart pressure increases so people tend to get hypertension and in at times in that coagulum they even get calcified so blood vessels get really thickened the uh, plaque gets calcified and then the blood the arteries gets stenosed basically the coronary coronary arteries and the vessels the vessels in the brain they get atherosclerosed so a high cholesterol with a high ldl which is supposed to be called a bad cholesterol can cause myocardial infarctions stroke and peripheral arterial diseases and vascular diseases so we have to keep this lipo uh, ldl in check so uh, to keep that ldl in check there are various methods which we can discuss later and now comes hdl hdl is a healthy uh, cholesterol which is responsible for the good uh, good good health of the arterioles and uh, basically blood vessels it scavenges away the ldl low density uh, lipoproteins and help restore the normalcy and the equilibrium in the body so hdl is very very essential and now comes a third kind of uh, cholesterol which is called which is triglycerides and trig- triglyceride also is the one which can adhere to the blood vessels and it is basically uh, you know uh, the human beings it is not manufactured inside the body but we uh, it comes into us with a dietary intake so in all these all cholesterols basically there are two uh, two other forms of cholesterols too and then there is an extended lipid profile which we get done 
but these basically to understand for a layman are the three essential uh, cholesterols which are bound to proteins lipoproteins it is ldl which is supposed to be bad cholesterol hdl which is supposed to be a healthy cholesterol and then it is triglycerides so now um, uh, what is cholesterol cholesterol doesn't cause any symptoms in our human body and if cholesterol is excessive there were there there are uh, you know man can have many diseases such as strokes myocardial infarctions and peripheral uh, vascular disease so what do we do now how do we measure the cholesterol so it is measured through blood so what essentially we get done is the blood is taken and a lipid profile is done which can tell us the fractions of the cholesterol of our body the ldl the hdl the triglycerides which are important and here i will discuss just these if you the cholesterol in our body is measured in milligrams per deciliter the total cholesterol should be around 200 mg deciliter and this sub fractions ldl it should be lesser than 100 hdl should be greater than higher than 60 mg per deciliter and triglycerides generally less than uh, 150 so lipid profile a periodical check of the lipids in our body the lipid profile can tell us the normalcy of various cholesterol fragments in our body again a basic question comes why do we need to know the cholesterol as i've already told if cholesterol is high it can cause havoc to our body and if the cholesterol is Uh, and if the cholesterol is in normal limits is fine if it is low it will hamper the repair of the body so cholesterol has to be equilibrated in a uh, in a state of equilibrium in our body so now if the cholesterol is high once it is detected on lipid profile the cholesterol is high so what do we have to do we can set the cholesterol in the normal limits with various methods one of them is if you would go to a physician he would tell you you know you can you can be medicated you can change your lifestyle you can change your dietary habits so i think uh, initially if you just uh, if the if your lipids have just crossed the borderline limits initially the physician would ask you to change your lifestyle and change of lifestyle means you have to be disciplined in your lifestyle you have to sleep well you have to exercise you have to keep your weight in check you should know how to uh, you should know stress uh, management and of course you must if you are a smoker you must quit smoking alcohol has to be uh, uh, you know kind of limited and uh, you you have to have uh, uh, no if aerobic exercises are what are recommended to keep the cholesterol in check and in aerobic exercises what you, what you can do is you can walk briskly you can jog you can swim you can you can you can cycle and uh, you know if you get bored with all these what you can do is you can even dance yourself through you know uh, dancing is a beautiful exercise which has you know a lot of energy uh, consuming so uh, if you dance that is also that is also one of the aerobic exercises and keep your cholesterol in check and with every kilogram of weight loss your pressure would get uh, your blood, your blood pressure would get less because if you gain a kilogram of weight you know what your heart has to do it has to traverse through one and a half kilometers of extra blood vessels and just imagine if the heart has to pump one and a half kilometers more how hard it has to press so once the pressure would rise again all those uh, complications and now comes the dietary part it is just if it's just borderline you have to control your diet if you if you have to stay longer if you have if you have to live longer and in diet you what you can avoid is you can avoid saturated fats trans fats salts and excessive sugars so you should avoid you know milk with full cream cheese yogurt and preferably try to take low fat uh, low toned uh, milk cream and your intake of fibers should be high vitamins like vitamin d can lower 
the cholesterol niacin can lower triglycerides exercises can lower the triglycerides you can take fibers and consume a lot of oats and plant products plant proteins and consume various kinds of fluids also like green tea is very very with its catechins it's useful and juices of berry tomato juice and milk from the plant products like coconut milk and uh, unsaturated fats from vegetable oils etc are very very uh, helpful so i have talked about all those lifestyle changing habits which you can inculcate to have uh, your cholesterol in check and if i summarize you have to exercise properly and exercise, all those aerobic exercises have to be done you have to quit smoking quit alcohol sleep well 7 hours of sleep is essential because if you would sleep only then would would your body would you would your body recover and basically you have to take care of your body and the stress should be the minimal if your stress is high the cholesterol would rise and with your gain in weight you would lose everything so probably you have to check your weight because once the weight is checked the cholesterol redistribution would be better in your body and now comes a medicine angle medicinal part of the medications and another thing which i wanted to tell you was if you uh, if your cholesterol is on the borderline and if you uh, kind of inculcate all your healthy lifestyles you can bring down your cholesterol in 3 to 6 months it takes that long but since it is borderline it is not going to harm you either and now if you your cholesterol levels are high and if you and you have to get them down immediately so then these uh, you know you have to go to a doctor and then these medicines are required and the medicines are of various kinds and the medicine which is most widely uh, used and the first line of treatment are statins statins would bring down ldl remarkably within the control limits and in very short period of time and uh, other things which you can do is you can if your triglycerides are triglycerides are high you can use uh, fibric acids they can you know uh, they do not work that much on ldl but they'll bring down the triglyceride levels and then there is even nicotinic nicotinic acid uh, even nicotinic acid what they do is they bring down the ldl and you know the hdl levels are uh, maintained and then there are certain bile salts also which can bring down the ldl to a considerable extent and uh, we even have now uh, certain other drugs which you know help prevent absorption of uh, cholesterol so those uh, cholesterol would not be absorbed from the gut and then the level of the the ldl and other things <coughs> would remarkably alter in the blood stream so these are the medical treatment they have to be taken very regularly but in uh, sync with the doctor's advice you just cannot start any cholesterol treatment by yourself so if you keep your uh, this is nutshell Uh, about uh, management of uh, cholesterol and if you keep your cholesterol in check if you keep cholesterol within limits you can live healthy and you can avoid strokes peripheral vascular disease heart attacks and live life king size so this is from dr basin to you all have a great day manage your cholesterol manage your body manage your heart and manage your brain a healthy body has a healthy brain and you live healthy you live healthily that's it